It's been 80 years this week since 14,000 Canadian troops stormed the beaches of Normandy as part of an offensive forever known as D-Day. TVO and the organization Canada Company are making sure that the pivotal World War II battle is never forgotten. Joining us now to talk about his organization's National Military History Learning Program is François Joyer, the Quebec chapter president of Canada Company. Thank you so much for being with us here today. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about this incredibly important initiative. Well, it all started in Quebec five years ago with uh, the education program Je Me Souviens, uh, which was to highlight the contribution of our men and women in uniform from the Francophone community. And translate Je Me Souviens. Uh, I remember. I remember. I remember. Uh, we uh, lobbied to get within the uh, curriculum of the history program for uh, the equivalent of high school in Quebec schools, uh, the recognition of the uh, 22nd Battalion and the Battle of Vimy as Canada's uh, main event of it becoming known uh, throughout the world as a you know a country uh, and over the last five years it's been a huge success last year we had over 55,000 students uh, that uh, received the material looked at the material worked at the material over 55 schools uh, this year it's 35 schools and 30,000 students because of the strike we had but because of the success that we've had in Quebec which is probably a little bit of a hostile environment uh, to speak about the Canadian Armed Forces. We thought about bringing it to the rest of Canada and uh, Ontario was the natural uh, second step in this uh, five-year plan that we've got where we want to be across the country. And we're very, very proud uh, announcing it today because of the uh, relationship we've established with TVO that is uh, responsible for the digital learning tools uh, with the Ministry of Education of Ontario. So, started in Quebec, bringing it here to uh, Ontario now. Walk us through what the program does um, and the resources, educational resources that it provides. So, basically, we've broken it down to four key segments. So, K2 for the youth, where the focus will be symbols, because you're talking to a very young audience. Uh, then you're going to 3-5, what it means to be brave. Uh, six to eight service sacrifice and then high school which will be you know the trailblazers and change makers so what we're trying to do is throughout Canada the name of the program will be honoring bravery uh, and what we're trying to do is offer our youth the opportunity to identify to individuals that will have done extraordinary things during extraordinary times uh, and and to give them um, heroes you know today our, our youth are caught up in this cloud of social media, artificial, fake, whatever you want to call it. And this program is really built upon trying to give them actual heroes. So if I look at what we're presenting for our grade six to eight students, uh, Curly Christian, who was a black American who came to Canada and decided he wanted to serve as a volunteer, uh, served in the Great War, uh, you know, spent uh, two days uh, in uh, rubble, was found, lost his four limbs and, you know, he was one of the uh, founding people behind war amps. So, you know, he, he was a positive symbol uh, for that whole chain of events that took place afterwards. So, you know, to us, that's a hero. And you've got others like uh, Francis uh, Pegamagebo, uh, who uh, was one of the great snipers of World War I from the indigenous community, decorated highly. Uh, you know, became uh, one of the First Nations uh, chiefs and fought for the rights of the Indigenous community. Those are people that they can identify to. So that's what we're trying to do. It's and trying Canadians, to... you're bringing the stories of Absolutely. Canadians. Absolutely, and, and to show that Canada's always been about diversity. So it's, it's, it's just trying to bring a positive spin to it. You know, we've been talking about um, 80 years um, and the events happening in France uh, due to D-Day happening. Mm -hmm. And you see some of these veterans interacting with very young folks, sharing their stories, getting the opportunity to, to meet them. Um, it's a learning experience for them. But this program offers um, extensive resources here to students. Why is this so important? Um, I think it's in today's narrative. You, you know, it's, it's important that we offer our youth um, a picture of what happened in our past so that they can possibly, hopefully, better understand our present and then shape our future. So it's, it's really, you know, this is privately funded. There's no government funding out of this. There's no 
lobby groups behind this or anything else. It's it's just we're trying to put the facts forward and give our youth the opportunity to, you know, try and make a difference. What's the, um, you know, the importance and incentive for you? You said that this is privately, this is something that you're doing. What's the incentive for you to, to, to share these um, education tools and lessons with students? You know, I'll just come back. It's it's to give them the facts and, and let them make up their own mind and, and give, it, give it to them unbiased. There's no agenda behind this. You know, this is not about flag waving. This is not about join the Canadian Armed Forces. You know, this this is just about, hey, there are actual heroes. There were there was actual diversity throughout the time. You know, this is like this is all this is the story of the Canadian fabric. Mm -hmm. And it's it's to us it's a story that's not being told. Well we appreciate you coming here on City News twenty four seven, sharing these stories here with us. Francois Joy, thank you so much for thank being here. Thank you very here. much for having me.